Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list in Excel. So I have an Excel sheet here and I have a question section and I have an answer section. So I have three questions here in the question section. So for each question, I'm going to create a drop down list in the answer section. So in the first question, I'm going to create a drop down list with the 50 states of the US so the user can only choose whatever is in the drop down list. The second question is what month is your birthday? I'm going to create a drop down list with the 12 months of the year and the user will only have to choose one month in the drop down list. The third question is do you like winter? I'm going to create a drop down list with just yes or no. So I place the data in a separate sheet. This is my data. I have the 50 states listed in column A and in column B, I have the 12 months of the year. So in the first question, I'm going to create that drop down list. So in the answer section, I am going to select the cell where I would like the drop down list to be. So I'll click here, then I'll click on data. So on the right side in the data tools section, I'm going to select data validation. And this is the setting section. And under the allow section, just a drop down tab, I'm going to select list. So in the source section, there's an up arrow icon. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to click on the sheet where my data is. And I'm going to select all 50 states. So I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. I'm going to click OK. So just a drop down tab that was created. I'm going to click on that and all 50 states are listed. I'm going to select one. So if I try to change this Georgia to something else and I hit enter, I'm going to get an error message. The value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. So I can only choose whatever is in the drop down list. Okay, the second question, what month is your birthday? I'm going to click on the cell where I would like the drop down list. I'm going to click on data and click on data validation. Under allow, click on the drop down tab click on list in the source section I'm going to click on the up arrow icon and I'm going to choose my data I'll click on the data sheet and I'll select my data from January to December hit enter on the keyboard click OK and a drop down tab was created I'm going to click on it and all 12 months of the year are listed I'm going to choose one so in the third question, do you like winter? This is going to be a yes or no in a drop down list. So I'm going to select the cell. I want to make sure click on data. In the data tools section, click on the drop down tab. Click on data validation. In the allowed section, click on the drop down tab. Click list. So in the source section, I only want yes or no. So I'm going to type it in. I'm going to type yes comma space and no and I'm going to click OK so a drop down tab was created I'm going to click on it and I only have the two options here yes or no so that's how you can create a drop down list in Excel so if you need to clear out this drop down list all you have to do select the cell click on data click on data validation and when you get the data validation menu box, just click clear all. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.